the very first character to Tekken 8. Killmonger. And they've made him the face of the game. We can see him from every angle. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. One of the main reasons I actually disliked playing against this character is because of his stance. Man, it is annoying to look at. Can he just stand still for once? Anyway, let's learn this character in one day. I've gone through his whole move list and narrowed it down to the few moves that I'm going to use and abuse. So first of all, his punishes. We've got 1-3, which goes into this relaxed stance. His fastest launcher, 15 frames, is down forward 3. And then from crouching, he actually has a 13 frame launcher while rising 1 three so every time I block a low I'm probably gonna go for that but the quickest one from crouching is while rising 4-4 four, four. heat engages he's got this really strong heat engager forward 3 plus 4 very good range and it's safe on block but then his power crush is also a heat engager this high let's quickly go over his stances so he's got two main stances the handstand stance this one here what are you doing you can actually do it backwards as well. And then he also has negativa stance, which most people call the relaxed stance, which is this here. So what are the best attacks from the handstand stance? First of all, we've got one, which is this plus on block mid and goes into his relaxed stance. Then he's got handstand stance four. You can do this over and over, but you can do 4-2, which is a counter hit launcher. Next in the handstand stance, he actually has the special ability, which he has to unlock from certain attacks. And one of them is down back 4-4. Four, four. You can see top left, he now has one level one of this green ability, which unlocks this move from his handstand stance, which is 3 plus 4. This low mid... The other one it gets is back four, oh. which is plus six on block. Then from the relaxed stance, I think his best attack is two four. You can do it over again. You hold down two four, and you can see it's plus three. But he also has this really strong mix up. So he's got three three, which is the slow, which gives him a stack of the green power. And then the mid mix up is this, which is a heat engager. Let's go back to his regular attack. So best low poke, probably down three. Forward, forward three, which is this one here. Really strong as well with a little bit more range. Then he's got full crouch down forward three, which goes into his relaxed stance and on counter hit. It is a launcher. And finally, to finish things off, well running three is this plus on block. I think it's plus eight attack. And these are the combos that I'm going to use. Down forward three combo. And that gives him a stack of the green power. The only real other combo that I'm going to do is he's got this other launcher, quarter circle forward three. And there we go. At the wall, I'm going to keep it really simple and just do back 2-3-3. Three, three. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go online and try and win some games with Eddie Gordo. First game, of course, it's going to be Eddie versus Eddie. There's probably going to be a lot of Eddie mirror matchups. Hey, guys, I'm going to Oh, and we start off fantastic. I know, man. Okay, I, I need to use uh, actual attacks, fast attacks. Wake up! Okay. Just settle down. Oh, okay. That must be very powerful. Oh. Let me give you a. We're just hug. gonna grab him here for the win. <clears throat> yes, we take the first round. Okay. Huh? What's the combo? I can't remember actually. Oh, he might be dead. 2-0. So how do we start? Yeah, I'm gonna sidestep and maybe get a launcher. No one has ever done that. There we go. I don't know how to break the wall. Don't be afraid to hit that block button. <laughs> okay, he's just mashing there. <laughs> I was just mashing myself, but I had all the hit advantage, so we win the first game. Uh, so we start in beginner. we got to go all the way up to brawl. It's going to take a little bit longer with Eddie. After a while, my muscle memory went completely out the window, and I was just mashing. I, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. It's working out. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing because he goes into this weird stance a lot. Like, I'm trying to see how to go under his... Stand up. So that we can combo, I think. 
There we go. Okay, there we go. What am I supposed to do there? I can't remember the combo. Okay, that might eat him. That might eat him. Yep, he's just been mashing, so I thought, okay, if he does one more attack, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my rage art. Saw something, hit him with the rage art. This is what I do. Uh, we got matched up against the same guy again, unfortunately, so I'm not gonna show all these games, most likely. I'll be brutally honest. There we go. But against this guy, I managed to get my first full combo up against the wall, and we kept going on and on. Okay, this is looking really good. Okay, that is the perfect round. You win. Você terá outra chance, como eu tive. Of course, I had to go on the Eddie Gauntlet because everyone's playing this character. He's doing attacks that are very, very random. And this doesn't work, does it? Oh, it does work. It does work. I did that right on the fly. I never practiced that once. I thought I did it a bit too late because I was like, what? What's Rage Art again? I forgot the button. But then I got it. Oh, now we've got a Lars. Here's the one. Okay, we get a combo. Boom, there we go. Got the pressure at the wall. So I could have done a better combo there, I think. When in doubt, just hit the same buttons over and over. Oh, okay, that move doesn't seem as good as I thought. Oh, no. Wow, I uh, didn't I block everything then? Get the punish? Okay, we got to punish eventually. Usually when you block long strings like that, the punish is easy. Gotcha. Okay, there we go. We managed to get the win. And we're promoting to now third Dan. No, it's fighter, which is third Dan, technically. I can beat Goku. I can beat him. Oh, yeah, okay, we actually got it. This Eddie journey has started off pretty good, going from a seven win streak to an eight. There we go, we get this. That's a perfect round, and I didn't feel like I played perfect at all. Unfortunately, my win streak eventually came to an end, coming up against this mashing player that I had no idea how to counter. Okay, he's doing the string mashing. I don't know what he's, which string he's doing. Okay, I did a follow-up attack. Okay. He was also, unfortunately, a lagging cheat. He's lagging! We gotta block the guy. We gotta block him. We gotta block him. He's lagging. Anyway, after that, I was pretty tilted, and I pretty much only played against Eddie's apart from this Kazuya, which uh, makes it a very, very boring video, in my opinion. I hate watching mirror matchups. I don't know about you guys, but mirror matchups are absolutely terrible to watch. Did play against this Vanquisher Eddie though, and I should have beaten him, but apparently when you're Korean backdash, you can't block. I'm blocking! I'm blocking! <laughs> and unfortunately, I couldn't get my revenge because he didn't want a rematch. Oh. But after playing about 10 Eddie mirror matchups in a row, we finally got to Brawler. Now, one thing I want to point out with Eddie, which was so frustrating for me to play against, is he's got this back 3-3 three, three string, which is actually unsafe. But if you use a jab to punish it, it will completely miss the screwed me up so many times. I just want to punish everything with my jab, make it nice and simple. But no, against Eddie, you have to specifically use a mid. Eddie's were just spamming this over and over, and it's completely broken if you don't know how to punish it. Nerf Eddie, please. 